After being away from Iron Man for a couple of weeks, unsurprisingly, everyone has full storage. Which is honestly fine, because it means we can just empty everything and increase our collections a little bit. While I'm here, I also want to show you this. I can't remember if I talked about this in the last video, but see this iron minion? He produces iron ore blocks, which, as they are, are functionally useless to me. They need to be iron ingots to increase that particular collection. Now, I can just build some furnaces and smelt these down myself using the coal from the coal minion just fine. However, there is an item in Skyblock that will make the minion do this automatically. It's called an auto smelter and we've already unlocked the recipe for it in Cobblestone 3. All we need to make one is a stack of cobblestone as well as one single piece of coal. Giving it to the iron minion, you can see that he will now produce iron ingots automatically, saving us a job. With that taken care of, let's talk about goals. There are a few things I would like to achieve in this video. First, I want to get to Skyblock level 3 so I can talk to Elizabeth in the community center and start upgrading the island in different ways. Second, I want to unlock and craft some budget hoppers for my minions so I can, hopefully, start making money so I can buy things from shops. And third, I want to start building an actual foundation area for my island. The reason why my main profile island is so chaotic is because I didn't plan out where things were going to go, so everything's a bit cramped together and just doesn't look good. It's functional, but that's all it has going for it. And I'm not making that same mistake here, hence planning. I also need to show you what I'm going to be using to build things once I know what it is I'm doing. This NPC here sells all different kinds of blocks that you can use in your island. And this is what the vast majority of my money is going to be spent on and is why I want to get the budget hoppers as early as possible. So first, let's get to Skyblock level 3, which... Looking at my profile isn't going to take too much effort as I'm practically there already. I just need to increase a couple of collection ranks and we're good, so back to the island. And with that done, back we go to Elizabeth and ask her to give us an extra minion slot and see how long it will take to- 23 hours? I thought the first one was instant. Obviously I was wrong. I guess that's not too bad in the grand scheme of things, but it does make me a bit worried for how long the next few upgrades will take. Next, unlocking the budget hopper. And I've just realized that we haven't upgraded the iron minion beyond level 1 yet, despite having a bunch of iron in our storage. We should maybe fix that. Okay, two upgrades and only three more needed to get another minion slot. I wonder who else I can upgrade while I'm here. These minions over here need enchanted items to be upgraded, and that's going to take a while. The iron minion, though, needs eight stacks of iron. I could just go and mine that. Hmm. Be right back. Okay, so real quick. I need to explain what enchanted items are in the context of Skyblock, because I'm going to be talking about them a lot in this series. You know how in regular Minecraft you can combine multiple items of the same kind to create new blocks? Like combining 9 iron ingots creates an iron block for example? Those exist in this game as well, but they take it a step further. If you combine 5 half stacks of an item, you create one single enchanted version of that item. Now why am I telling you this? For two reasons. The first reason is so you know what I'm talking about when I inevitably say things like, I need 40 enchanted iron for this. And the second reason, to give you some sense of scale for how many items are needed for different things. As well as most crafting recipes, every minion beyond a certain level needs enchanted items to upgrade them. And when you realize that each single enchanted item is equal to 160 regular items, you can see why it might take a while to get some of these things done. And done! 8 stacks, which unlocks another minion slot. And I think I'm going to put the redstone minion down for this, mainly because I'll need an enchanted redstone later on for another recipe, so it's a good idea to start that early. Despite all that mining, I still had not unlocked the budget hopper, so back in I went, mining up all the iron I could see until... 
there it was. Budget Hopper unlocked. All I had to do now was to head back to the island and craft not one, but two of them and give them to the iron and coal minions. I'm not sure how much money this is going to make me, probably not much, but anything is better than nothing. And now with two of our goals checked off, that leaves only one left. Create a foundation plan for the island. This was actually really easy to do. With a cobblestone minion active, we had a lot of cobblestone that we could use for this. But even then I had to use some other blocks just to make up the numbers. And I still haven't got it all finished. There's still more left to do over on this side, but I think this is enough to do for now, seeing as I'll be building up this side of the island first. So there we go. I guess we'll call this goal half done. And with that, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.